everybody! Today is finally the day. It is day five of the Avengers Age of Ultron character inspired makeup series. Gosh, that's a mouthful. <laughs> um, today is the day I finally get to go see the movie and I cannot wait. Just a few hours. I'm counting down the time. Um, yeah, so today for the last day I decided to do the look based off of Ultron. Um, I don't really have, you, you know, you can't find red eyeshadows. You just can't, nor eyeliners. So for the eyeliner, I don't know if I suggest that y'all do that in case y'all have, ow, Copernicus da down, in case that y'all have some sort of weird reaction to it or whatever. But um, as the eyeliner right above the black liner, I used a liquid lipstick for it. So use at your own, your own. Uh, why can't I think of the word? Anyway, use at your own, whatever. And um, so yeah, I, I ended up digging around my stuff and I finally found a red eyeshadow for that part with my um, BH Cosmetics, one of these things that I, you know, never use. I was like, oh good, it finally had some use for me. A red eyeshadow. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, I'm using this for the red and then I am using my Vice 2 for the intense silver. It's the shell shock color here for the Vice 2 palette. And um, yeah, that's what I'm using today to create this look. So, and obviously I have that Kat Von D liquid lipstick on my lips also. So I'm using it for its intentions also. Um, so anyway, this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Thank you all so much for y'all's lovely comments and stuff. I appreciate it. I had a lot of fun with it. And um, yeah, next week I'll be going back to my normal tutorials and um, product reviews. I still have a couple of things I wanted to do swatches and reviews over. So anyway, that's it. Let's get into it. And are you ready? Are you set? Then let's go. All right, I start off by priming my eyes with the NARS eyeshadow primer. Then I got Max Soft Brown, got my big old fluffy brush, and blended that into and above my crease as the transition color there. Make sure it's blended out real nicely. Then with the shader brush, I'm getting my Vice 2 palette by Urban Decay and getting the color Shell Shock and putting that all over my lid. I recommend patting. This stuff has a lot to fall out and you'll end up with glitter everywhere. And even more so if you do a swiping motion instead of a patting motion, I find. So, yep, glitter galore. <laughs> now I am adjusting the um, shape out there in the edge. I am doing it along the line of like a winged out eyeliner there in the outer corner. Then I'm going back in with a soft brown onto just above the silver color. And now I am lining my lids with my Kat Von D liquid liner. I'm just doing that winged out line there. Ta-da! And now I am getting the color Outlaw, the liquid lipstick by Kat Von D. And I'm getting an angled liner brush and just outlining right above the black liner. And there it is. And now I'm getting that pointed kind of fluffy brush, getting the color red there, and I'm putting it right above where the silver color ends. I want to focus the most intense part of the red right there where the red and silver meet, and then I want to kind of blend the color out above it. So focusing most of the red there on the inner and then blending it out. I am getting the color Shroom by MAC and applying it to my brow bone. I usually go for matte highlights, but you know, this is kind of a dramatic look, so I was like, eh, I can use this shimmer. So yeah, just highlighting my brow bone there and I am blending the colors together now. And once again, I'm intensifying the red there where it meets the silver just a bit more. Now I'm getting a eyeliner. It's kind of a silvery blue color. It's the color Amethyst by Star Looks. And I am lining my waterline to add an even more silver look to it. <laughs> and I'm getting Shell Shock and applying it to the outer corner and inner corner of my lower lash line. And 
And now I'm lining right underneath that with the red color and then blending it out. I didn't put the red in the very inner corner. I stopped once I got there. And now I'm getting the liquid lipstick again and just outlining right underneath the black line as well. And like I said, there's a lot of glitter with this stuff. So I'm going in with a makeup remover and just taking that off. I recommend foundation last for this look. Now I'm curling my lashes, adding several coats of my Better Than Sex mascara by Too Faced to my upper and lower lashes. And then I put my House of Lashes Starlit Falsies on. And um, I'm putting that color, I don't know what it is. It's not labeled on that NARS thing, but that's what it looks like to my cheekbones. <laughs> and now I'm getting the color Outlaw once again and applying it to my lips this time. I really love these. They last all day. As long as you don't eat oily stuff, they're great. So anyway, that is the look. I hope you enjoyed this series. I had so much fun doing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like, please do thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Goodbye. Blend there on the edge. Now I'm getting a pointed brush. I'm getting the color Sonic from my uh, Urban Decay Vice 3 palette and I'm putting it just into the very edge of the black at first, kind of blending the two colors.